Good day everyone! So, in this video I'm going to answer a question that I got from a subscriber of mine. Now, this is a little bit of an opinionated and loaded question for, well, it depends really, but hopefully you can bear with me because by now I hope that I have proven to you that I, although I have my own preferences and opinions, I'm very, very open to the idea that I'm wrong and I love to have discussions about most things because I don't dismiss you I will never dismiss you because just because you like something that I, I I'm not a fan of rather I would love to hear your thoughts about it because maybe it turns out that you are the one who has some insight that I'm lacking and maybe you'll get me over to your way of thinking but let's get on to it so the question was basically should I as a beginner programmer focus on PHP or Node.js or more specifically would you say that there are a decent amount of entry-level jobs for Node.js or should I focus on PHP? Now let's first and foremost define two things. PHP, let's start off with that. PHP is older than Node, a lot older. It is the technology that runs roughly a third of the internet through projects such as WordPress. It is absolutely massive and it is humongously popular. Now, Node.js is not as old, but it's a completely JavaScript based platform and it is most likely the most hyped and trendy piece of technology there is, with probably the exception these days to uh, to Go. Basically, Go is starting to kind of rival the hype a little bit, but Node is still. I mean, it was. You have no idea how big it was when it came around. Anywho, so we have these two titan languages, which are, in their own way very good at different kind of different things but the issue that they have when it comes to facing off against each other is that they are very much used to do the same sort of thing which is web-based programming they're all they, they try to solve the same problem basically so that makes this a very good question which one should you pick and all i can say is that this is a very tricky question to answer for somebody like myself because I am living in Sweden and more specifically I'm living in Gothenburg. Why is that an issue? Well, because the popularity of Node.js and PHP, you know, they're very popular. But when it comes to job availability, they are very regional. There are not that... If you go come to Gothenburg, <laughs> you will drown in job opportunities that are related to Java and C-sharp. But you're going to have to look a little bit if you want to work with PHP or Node.js. That's not true in Stockholm, for example. There's another, like Java and C-sharp are still very popular up there, but the demand for Node.js is higher up in Stockholm than it is for P. See, this is a very regional thing, and it very much depends on where you are, because these languages are... Yeah, they're virtually regional. The only two languages, and this is, you may have noticed this in my other videos about language availability and job, jobs and all this stuff. The only two languages on, in the world that I can with almost 100% guarantee tell you exist in every IT community, and it doesn't matter which region you are, is C Sharp and Java. These two languages are globally popular. They are everywhere, and that's because, as I've stated before, they're in ev absolutely ev like m a lot of really, really big companies standardize on these two platforms. But that's not true for PHP and Node.js, even though really big companies such as Uber and Netflix use Node.js, they're m migrating over some of their services to, no to Go these days, and you have Facebook that is a representative of PHP in this discussion, even though they have kind of made their own flavor of it now, but they started out there. So the languages are popular, not as universal as Java and C Sharp, but hey, that's the way it works. So to answer this question is, it's tricky if the desire is to just get a job. But I want to take a little bit of an angle because 
if we accept that the job availability for Node.js and PHP are fairly equal, because as I said, it's very difficult to get a holistic oversight since there's so many regions, but let's just assume for the sake of argument that you can get a job in both, because trust me, you can. It's not like PHP has no jobs and Java, you know, JS has all the jobs or vice versa. The, the, the difference isn't all that massive globally. It may differ in region, but globally the difference isn't super big. So, as a entry level job, there's two things to consider. PHP will be something that you learn quicker. Definitely. You will get good at PHP much quicker than you will get good at Node.js. But, and this is where I get opinionated, but PHP, for all the stuff that it's brought us, and it has brought the world a lot of value, because trust me, PHP is still the heavyweight champion of server-side rendered applications. And it has done, that the PHP community has brought so much to the IT world. Unfortunately, they are losing popularity, or PHP is losing popularity, and Node.js is gaining. Today, you cannot, I will argue, work in web development without having to know at least some Node.js, because if you are using anything such as npm for example or if you are using react angular whatever odds are that you have a package json file somewhere and if you have that file you are using node node is i will say it's not there just yet but it's getting to the point where you have to know it and you have to know javascript it's that simple. You cannot work in web today without knowing JavaScript. And sure, you can be get you know pissy with me and say that, oh, you can still do it. And I say, yeah, sure, you can absolutely do that. Just as I'm sure that it's feasible for you to sell a, f a mobile phone that doesn't have text support. Mm, that's also as feasible. Anywho, that means that as a beginner looking for an entry-level job, if you go into PHP, you will get a job. If, but you will be more limited long term than you will with Node.js. Because Node.js will not only give you a job, it will factor into every single job that you get later on. If you decide that you want to go in a new direction and say that, hey, I don't want to do Node anymore. You can go into Java development, or you can go into Python, like whatever language you want. And as long as that project that you move over to has a front-end, a web interface, your skills are going to translate to a, de to a degree. You're going to be able to bring with you that value that you have from knowing Node.js. That is not true for PHP. Not at all. If you know PHP, you know PHP. It does not get you any value anywhere else. However, another benefit to being good at JavaScript these days is that it is the easiest thing for you to, as a junior to get yourself very competitive and erase your own market value very quickly. PHP has, as I said, been around for a long time and there are more people who are really good at, G at PHP these uh, overall, seniors if you will, than there are people who are really good at Node.js because Node.js hasn't been around all that long. In fact, the trend is that today you're actually hiring, as I call, as I use, I use the term front-end a lot, front-end developers, people who are extremely good at JavaScript, Node, and so forth, because there's simply no seniors around. This is a good opportunity for you as a junior to get really good at something that you can actually bring with you as a good bargaining chip because a lot of companies have senior staff that have been in the business for a long time and are really good at things that i mean at languages who are much older and the thing is that as a junior you can't really compete with that experience i mean shit when i started doing java there are people there are people in java who's been doing it for 20 25 years well though no, say 10 15 20 years at least there's no way I'm going to be able to compete with these people, but I'm pretty good at Node.js and they don't, and most of them don't even know how to spin up an express server. 
Not that they need to, of course, because <laughs> senior people are senior, they are experienced, they don't, for the most part, have to know all of this stuff. But from the company's perspective, it's very healthy and very beneficial to them. And that's why I'm saying that there's actually a really, really high demand for React and Angular. Like all these front-end developer positions are getting more and more popular. And the recruiters are struggling to find good people for it. That is, that is the, the lay of the land. That is the current situation. So to answer your question, it is impossible for me to say if PHP has more jobs than Node.js. Globally, it's fairly similar. Regionally, it very much depends. Easiest way for you to figure that out is to go to the region that you're working in, go to the job posting sites and do a search. That's gonna give you a good, good understanding of the job availability. But you should know that Learning Node.js and starting getting that as an entry job is going to long term be better for you than PHP. Hands down. Because PHP is going down, Node.js is still climbing. That's the trend we're seeing today at least. Have a great day.